Hello and welcome to my channel. I am your auntie, your sexologist and relationship therapist, Auntie Jesse. And I am so glad that you're here, that you've chosen this channel. Okay. And uh, it's always a pleasure to discuss these issues. Remember, we were discussing the matter of men who are 40 and above, and I was trying to give them advice so that at least, number one, they can understand how their bodies are functioning at 40 and above. You are no longer a teenager. You're no longer in your 20s, okay? There's a way they need to live their lives so that they do not become dependent on Viagra because I mentioned the side effects of Viagra and how it is leading so many men into places of so much sadness because it leaves so many of them either dead when they when it when it is a serious case or with issues like stroke and you know they suffer heart attacks or they suffer permanent permanent uh, erectile dysfunction particularly those who experience priapism due to consumption of viagra so i would like us today to discuss uh, the things you can do tips to enjoying sex up until you are old it is not easy okay it is not easy because i would like us to look at our forefathers i would like us to look at our forefathers and how they lived their lives today machines have replaced everything in the past our forefathers work was work and they worked with their hands okay if they had to cover a distance there were no motor vehicles there were not even bicycles you remember they had to cover these distances on their fish on their feet when it was fishing you know they had to get into some some wood carved out boats and just to row their way out there were no motor boats if it was farming it was literally just you know physical work you understand if it was hunting you know they did it with you know, the most primitive way, running around, chasing animals. And, you know, this is what really kept them trim. It promoted blood circulation. It promoted body fat, a reduction in the body. There was no accumulation of body fat. And, you know, physical fitness. Okay. So how do you, how do you now switch this system of the old into your lifestyle today? Number one, I would like you to do exercises as often as possible by the time you're 40 you're too comfortable you have money you have a car you don't walk you probably have grown in a company you sit behind a computer the whole day if you're going to a certain floor in your office building you take a lift okay once you get home you you are so tired because basically your system is is you know is that can I call it dull? Should we call it that? No. There is something with your system. You have slowed it down so much, so much, so that when you get home, you just want to sit in, on the couch, watch telly, flip channels. And when and if you have to join your friends out there, there is beer and a lot of meat consumption. And these, these are the things that are, you know, they're just rising cases of obesity and cholesterol in the body and things like that. So number one, if you want to exercise, target cardiovascular exercises, exercises that promote cardiovascular health and, you know, circulation of oxygen in the blood, absorption and circulation of oxygen in the blood, in the blood, you understand? Because remember, by doing so, you'll be promoting alertness, that will be promoting, uh, you know, low stress levels, self-esteem, you know, you'll be flexible, able to move from one point to another with ease, you understand? And look at all the... the, the the, the, the health benefits of doing all this, you cut your weight, you look so good after that, and you become so much more active and more attentive, and it lowers your blood pressure. Exercising is just amazing, okay? So, uh, let us also look at exercises. What kind of exercises are these? Walk as often as possible, okay? Jog in the morning, if you know you live in a safe neighborhood, Take a jog around the blocks, come back, take your shower, dress up, go to work. I am telling you, you will, you will not even uh, desire to take a lift. You will take the stairs if you have to. I mean, okay. There is cycling, although we say that cycling is not very safe for men. But uh, there are cycling machines. You can just cycle on the spot, you understand? These are static uh, cycling uh, bicycles, okay? And then, of course, you don't have to sit on them so much because, you know, we have to promote the testicles. I will be discussing that when we'll be discussing the issue of testicular health, okay? You can swim. It's very good. Swimming is amazing for the lungs, for the heart, for the muscles. 
it's amazing. You can skip the rope. You know, aerobic exercise, the kind of exercises that make you breathe hard, the kind of exercises that make your heart just pump a little bit faster. Okay, because by promoting blood circulation, it means that now there will even be enough blood circulation to your genitals so that you're able to get proper erections. And as for the women, you, this blood circulation, this flow of blood circulation to your genital area uh, will promote uh, what we call that lubrication during sex. Okay. The other factor is to eat right. You know, because fat tends to clog uh, due to obesity, it clogs. This, this is cholesterol business I'm talking about. Then it also leads to diabetes. You know what 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 um, what obesity really is all about? You put on weight, and your vessels are clogged, and your your your, your blood vessels are also pressed down by by blood. It really it really interferes with blood flow in your body. Okay. So by eating right, what do I mean by eating right? Eat foods that are high in fiber natural foods basically if you can do it get food straight from the farm into the pot foods that have already been processed gone through machines and so many nutrients and goodness removed from them these are the foods that are making digestion so hard okay so you are not able your food is not able to move through your gut it just sits there it transforms into fat and it leads to so many complications so eat so much fiber Foods that are high in fiber and ensure that there is a lot of fruits and vegetables. Now, fruits will promote a lot of things in your body. Health, protection from diseases, good digestion, and the green vegetables. Ensure there is a serving of green vegetables on your plate as often as possible. In fact, make sure that at least when you're eating a meal, there is a serving of green vegetables. Good in fiber, boosts iron production in the body. And, you know, quick and safe a digestion there is good metabolism in your body okay now if you love beers can you please take dark beers because they are known to be to have good um they have good nutrients they contain we will be discussing this about beer and what it contains that actually can promote a healthy digestion system and also promote a libido okay and if you can reach out for local beers in africa Local beers are just the best, you know, like they are made from millet, if it is bananas and all that. They are safe beers, zero chemicals, you understand? Because I said chemicals tend to interfere with the way your body functions. There's a way it can also cause, um, it, it alters a lot of things in your body. So if you can take natural things, that would be awesome. Consume a lot of zinc. Sources of zinc. Zinc is excellent in promoting libido, testosterone levels, and of course, things like uh, uh, sperm quality and sperm quantity. Zinc is, uh, is basically found, number one, in fishes, oysters, and things like that. But just fish, eat a lot of fish. It's also healthy. The omega-3 is also very good for your heart. Uh, take a lot of zinc from pumpkin seeds powder, if you can find that. Take a lot of zinc from nuts. Basically, pistachios. If you can find walnuts, walnuts are amazing. They promote fertility, things like groundnuts and things like that. And then, of course, take herbs, aphrodisiac herbs, ashwagandha, maca, tonkets. Uh, there are so many days. There's ritemondia, mukombero, mulondo, whatever, whatever. Okay? So I would like us to discuss foods in the next episodes. Foods, foods, foods that promote uh, sexual libido, foods that will make you um feel physically fit okay and they promote these hormones in your body hormone production in your body so that you are able to perform so very well uh during sex okay so um thank you for watching this video and i said this if you have any issue you'd like us to discuss just leave a comment down below i'll send you my whatsapp number so that you can continue with these conversations on whatsapp and then of course i'll give you guidance on what to do otherwise uh, give this video a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to this channel you know you know the drill on youtube okay and of course see you next time love you very much thank you